Please hang up and try again. I'm Sam Ekstrom, Locked On Sports Minnesota, and I am a loser, and I am a loser, and I am a loser. And I am a loser. So my punishment is I have to do a snow combine. We got the two loops, we got a reef here, and because it's Wild Card Sunday, I'm going straight, short sleeves. <laughs> Bud Grant. Oh. <laughs> He's got a build. Got a little midriff showing, it's all good. Little water boy here. Look at that. This is the real jersey that he wore on set. I'm and, sure it uh, is. How about a little throwback? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's and you know what? When you're in the conditions, I got I, I gotta have the right footwear. I gotta have some six stud cleats for the snow. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six for traction. Nikes, uh, you know, size 12s. They're, they're versatile. They're all terrain. What sport are they for? Baseball. Mm. But we are on a baseball diamond. I don't know if anyone can see. So really, this makes all the sense in the world that I would wear. Oh, these have been in my garage for years. There's a lot of sawdust in there. I I think uh, some rodents have been chewing away at the shelf that they sit on, so that's fun. I'm gonna put my foot in that. That's really disgusting. Oh yeah, fits just like it did back in high school. What am I doing here? Let's talk to the combine commissioner. Well, first of all, I'm just happy that we're able to run an event like this, really important. And, you know, obviously the, the, the key part of a football athlete is not how fast they run, not how high they jump, we'll be testing that, not how agile they are, we'll be testing that, but how much heart, grit, football knowledge, and character they bring to the game. And that last one, I think he has. I'll tell you what. Short University, six foot one fifty. No doubt. Let's do it. Not bad. Seven forty nine. No. Not bad. So after one run, whenever I step into the snow, that this top level of ice kind of cuts into my ankle. I think that's why the time might be slow. Yeah, you can't hack it. Got it. Stamina kick it in. <laughs> nice. Lung capacity, next gen stats, where are we at? <laughs> I think I hit a top speed of about 12 miles an hour. Yeah. I'm part of the 12 mile an hour club. <laughs> I think considering the completely unfair conditions. All right, unfair to who? The uh, unfair to the loser? Uh, the loser. Okay. All right, uh, are you still gonna give us a ride to the stadium? That depends. <laughs> Sam the Sledgehammer Extra. So we, we very scientifically marked out five yards, it's 15 feet. So you start there, uh, when you go, you go out to that second cone, you come back to that first cone, okay. right? And then you go out, you curl around the second cone, go around the third cone, and then you're gonna have to go back across the track and slay them across to the outside of that second cone again back to the start. Right. You will only ever turn on the outside corner of that second cone. Remember, your hands want to touch. 
and then you just have to run through it. Your hands touch the ground or where the, where the bottom of that cone would be. On the second one and uh, back on the first one, you come back that first time. You don't have to do any more after you come back, right? And then you go out and around, then you just run through. All right, I might get it wrong, but let's do it. Three, two, one, run. What are you doing there, man? That's Frankenberry 3 Xbox 460. Slow him. Come on, man. Take a look at what's going on here. We're actually breaking the space time continuum, man. The jump might have cost you a tenth. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, also, that might not have been fully legal because you do have to get your hand down to where that, yeah, yeah. that cone is. Things might have started out a little rocky. Two, one, run! Ah! Oh my ankles! Lunch! 11.30 on that one! I think we're gonna go back to an explosion drill after this. Are you familiar with the broad jump? Yeah! Yeah, you've got a history of broad jump performance. How good were you in middle school? Pretty good. Yeah. I was like one of the three people that did it. So you were in the top three of your yeah. school. Yeah. And how many people were in the school? A couple hundred. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Would sure. You sure, say sure. That you have a legacy to defend. Do I have plaques of my face in the school hallways? Do you mean? Do you? Is my name adorned on a banner above the the gym floor? And you were homeschooled? No. <laughs> So the answer to that is no, but also the answer to the other rhetorical questions was also no. Okay, fair enough. I don't All have right. any any legacies. Now, Deion Sanders at this point in his combine, he left. He just bolted. He ran his 40 and he left. Are you getting to that point just mentally now, knowing you've probably locked up a top five pick? Well, I am a little worried because this ankle injury, the teams could see this. Man, that is really bleeding, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Um, the, wow. The teams could see this. Not a joke. <laughs> and, uh, and they could think I'm an injury risk. You know, this is already an injury red flag. So I think at this you point, I have, you to prove, you can it I have to yeah. prove that I can play through injury. So we, we press on. It shows grit. grit. It shows yeah. toughness. Yeah. It shows, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, like that. I probably am looking at uh, the first round pick at this point. At worst, um, maybe not even a UDFA. No. If you could only have one guy, just one guy, that you put in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, I don't know why that would be, maybe because there's a small Hall of Fame and there's a fire inspector that says you can only have one guy that can go in that Hall of Fame. That guy, I mean, that guy's going to be... Save extra. Yeah.
Thank you. Playing through an injury, two successive years, putting up incredible numbers, tremendous motor, can beat you a variety of ways. I think this is a guy to meet, Todd, deserves to be a top 10 pick. Well, there you have it. Let's go. Come on, let's go, Viking fan. With the 22nd pick in the 2020 draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Sam Ekstrom, athlete. Dort University. The big games, Georgia, Oklahoma, Clemson, late in the year. Really improved, coaching up those receivers, he eliminated those drops. If you like this video, smash subscribe. My ankles were sacrificed. Do it for Sam's so, ankles. So you would subscribe to this channel, yeah, do hit it. the subscribe button as hard as the ice hit Sam's ankle. <laughs> yeah, you're lying, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's great. Oh. You could have the opposite hit. Good form. <laughs> yeah. That's great. What, what are you doing there, man? That's Frankenberry 3 Xbox 460. Come on, man. <laughs> see, see, no, see, that's the wrong direction. All right, Sam, you did precisely one of the instructions that was asked of you and did one of them the opposite and lost your helmet in the process. I think we have to do that again. Yeah, well